What's going on everybody? Christian Ballard here, Ballard Sports Media. Coming at you with a quick video looking at the Buccaneers injuries for today's game. 3 p.m. Eastern against the L.A. Rams and Sony Michelle and Matt Stafford. Great team that they're playing this afternoon. Again, 3 p.m. Eastern on NBC. But wanted to take a quick look and update you guys here. I got a list of injuries because um, I, I knew we were banged up, but I guess I had missed one or two. Uh, look, I, I'll say this. With everything that Tampa has out, it would be impressive if they won this game. I hope they do as a Bucks fan. If they don't, they don't. Um, you still got Tom Brady. You, you still got Mike Evans. You still got Gronk. You still got all those guys. But a couple key guys that are out. Uh, just yesterday, placed on IR, uh, Tristan Wirfs, uh, you know, I'm not sure exactly what the whole status of him is. Uh, Ryan Jensen is questionable, you know, kind of working back to it. Uh, the center had, you know, like sprained his ankle. Sean Murphy Bunting, hamstring injury. He's questionable. Can he stretch it out, get going in practice? Could he possibly play? He's been a key corner for us this year and really ever since we drafted him. Ronald Jones is out uh, due to ankle injury. Uh, Jason Pierre-Paul. <laughs> Notice who I'm calling out here is guys that you've heard of, right? If you really do follow uh, the NFL, and if if you remember the team from last year, they brought everybody back. They didn't really cut anybody, at least starting. They didn't trade anybody. They bring a lot back to the team this year. Overall, the Bucks are out a few key guys. Uh, Jason Pierre-Paul, JPP we call him. It's a personal injury. It didn't say if he was out. It didn't say if he was on IR. It didn't say anything like that. It just said a personal injury. We don't know. We don't know what's going on. Now, Chris Godwin, who I think is my favorite receiver to watch for the Buccaneers, uh, and that's saying a lot because we got Gronk, we got Evans, we got all those guys. He is still healing up from a January 3rd uh, surgery that he had on his ACL and his MCL in his right knee. He's practically out for the whole playoffs. It's going to take a few months to, to heal all that up. Hopefully we can get them back and going the start of preseason in August and fall camp uh, next year. But overall, I mean, I just gave you the, the key names. I mean, they got some second and third string guys that have been hurt here or there uh, that aren't, you know, not that they don't matter. I mean, every player matters. Every player uh, is pretty important. But to name some of the key starters, I mean, the center – Ryan Jensen has an ankle. I mentioned Sean Murphy Bunting. He is at least questionable. Hamstring, cornerback, uh, key player. Uh, I mean, great pass defender there. Ronald Jones is out with an ankle. Personal for JPP. Chris Goblin's still healing up. Um, again, I mentioned he had surgery in his right knee. So, one, two, three four, five, six guys I've listed. Also, yesterday, Tristan Wirfs was placed on IR. So, the question is, you know, and it's the playoffs. It's Tom Brady. I mean, you took him out of New England not knowing what was going to happen, and we're like, we're going to find out if he was responsible for it or was it all Belichick. And he won his first – he won a Super Bowl in his first year away from New England. And Belichick didn't even make the playoffs. Tom Brady is that guy though. Right? And look, hey, I'm not saying he's going to win this game with these guys out. Um, the, the Rams are good. I hope we can win. I'm confident in this team. I'm always going to be confident in my teams. But Tom Brady's that guy. You still don't bet against what he can do. Roll the dice with him. I mean, he spent 20 years with Danny Edelman and Gronk, which he still has Gronk, but he, he spent 20 years in a different system in New England. You take him out of that after 20-something years, put him in a new system, and he balls out and wins a Super Bowl somewhere else. So what does that tell you? 
He's still in the same system. He's just dealing with younger guys having to step up. It's not going to be about what Tom Brady can do, but can the guys around him step up and produce and, and, and do what they have to do today? And then, especially on the defensive side of the ball, um, I mentioned, uh, again, JPP. I don't see Vita Bay on there. I don't see Dominican Sue. Honestly, I really think the only key loss on the defensive side of the ball is Sean Murphy Bunting. And again, he's only questionable. He could play, but it's not a given. It's probably not likely. You probably want to rest him up uh, with his hamstring. Don't want to do any more damage to him in case we need. Uh, in, in case we win this game and we go to the, the title game next week. And then ultimately, hopefully, the Super Bowl. So, what do you guys think? Bucks fans, let me know down below. Uh, how you feel about this game this afternoon with the Rams? And uh, again, I believe it's uh, two o'clock uh, Central, three Eastern on NBC. And uh, we'll have to wait and see what happens. But I'm confident they can still get this victory. It's just not going to look like the Bucks team that it has been all season long. Obviously, with some key players out, they're going to struggle a bit. It'll come down to the wire. Um, but again, and look. It wouldn't surprise me if they lost this game because of injuries. But we won't make excuses. They lose the game, they lose the game. This is Tom Brady we're talking about, though. You don't bet against the GOAT in the playoffs. Don't sleep on what he can do. Love you guys. Y'all have an amazing Sunday. Jesus loves you. Keep your head up. Please like, comment, and subscribe right here to Ballard Sports Media for more sports content. Comment your score predictions for the Bucks and the Rams uh, down below in the comments. Um... And uh, also the Chiefs. Who are the Chiefs playing? Someone remind me. Oh, the Bills. That's right. Comment down below. <laughs> Sorry, took me a quick second. Uh, comment for the Bucks and the Rams, your score predictions, and then the score predictions you got for the Chiefs and the Bills. Going to be two amazing games this afternoon. Love y'all. Keep your head up. God bless. And as always, from a Bama fan, roll tide. Go Bucks! Fire those cannons!